Well then, drive shafts are ready to go in. But before I put them in, I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of black. I've had my heat on it for a while. Come on, can. problem, doesn't it? Maybe because it's the wrong shaft. It's farther to the front differential than it is to the rear. Yes, I'm leaving the tape on the rear. what was the matter for you. My angle seems a bit steep. I think there's a problem here. I may have to tip that rear end up a little. Or I need to tip the transfer case back a little. Either way it won't work like this. Well I can't tip the transfer case because of the front shaft, which I guess I'll try to install now. See where that puts us. Well now, that looks a little different now, doesn't it? Okay, here's what happened. When I assembled that transfer case, I put the yoke on, I noticed that when I tightened the nut down, the nut went past the hole for the cancellation. Well, I didn't think a whole lot about it then, because what I had done is I had taken that transfer case apart and I put it back together the way it came apart with the stuff that was in the transfer case with the exception of the new bearings and seals. Now, since it seemed to me that the yoke was set too deep, what would happen then was the U-joint was bottoming out against the shaft. That's why I couldn't get the shaft all the way down. So then, knowing that I had a uh, when we started Project Whitey, there was a spare transfer case in there. It was a Spicer 24. We're working on a Spicer 23. The Spicer 24s, there was lots of those used in uh, Ford trucks, that the differential was on the driver's side, not the passenger side. So they're actually the opposite of a 23. But everything inside is identical, with the exception of the gear ratios. So, I looked up a uh, Spicer 23 gearbox, 24, online to see the exploded view and sure enough there's this spacer that's supposed to go behind the speedo drive gear which was not in the transfer case when I took it apart oh sure sure you're thinking yeah. go back and watch the video so I have a spare but I don't want to get rid of this I don't I have, so since I don't want to get rid of it and I need one, then it's time to go see Tony. I need a part. Looks just like this. Yeah, little thin because it's one point six thirty. See, you would have a pretty thin wall by the time I bore it out, being cast iron, and this here. Yeah, this one here, the thinnest spot is 1.8. So with this here, we cut it off. We have a much, it's still cast iron, but we have more meat. On the OD, you're talking about what's right. the OD? Perfect. I got to bore it out a little bit. It's uh, 420 here, we want to go 490. Where'd you get 490? Okay, here's 385, so we'll make it out of because he'll never use it anyway. Yeah? Nope. 
But being this here, I should have more of this material laid around somewhere. But I don't know where to find it. Was that bigger or smaller, OD? Slightly smaller, it's a but... A little bit smaller. It'll do just fine. Yeah, it will do fine. Cause it's a good strong steel. But what I'm saying is... Well, I you know, I found an aluminum piece. I did too. So, I can always use this one to put that together and then have one for a reference. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, this is out of parts. I just don't want to be without one or no reference. I, 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 I understand that. Somebody whizzed in his car hey, like this morning. Pop? What? Huh? What? Big piece of pipe. I guess Odie doesn't matter. That's what I was just gonna say. Get that razor sharp burr off in there. Hey! 340! 350! That looks like this is meant to be. We like. That must mean something. Chop saw. Are you saying I should do something here? Not my day. Apparently. Didn't you used to be able to fit things on here? Make sure you make it a little longer than we need. So that I can machine both ends. So that you can mess it up? Yeah, I got. I want to make it round and square. We've been through this round and square thing before. Well, it is not my fault you don't understand Dutch. <laughs> yeah. And why don't you take that bolt out so you can get a nice... Well, you know, I, I can't even get the pipe in here because there's a lathe in the way. Well, push I'll the get to that. Well, you can push the lathe out of the way. Wow. Are you Mr. Impatient today or what? Have room to work. He don't want to wait for me to get the camera set up. He's just going to jump in and do it all himself. Then he'll turn around and tell me how I don't do nothing. I don't know if I want you in there or not. Please don't. You need to shave today or something? No. I'm not going to eat it. And change clothes? No. Not that either. You can comb your hair? Uh-uh. No way. That wouldn't be you. That's right. You got this all set up for the right length? Or do I have to check it again? I better check it. Some of these pushy cats around here. Hi, Dutchman. Hold on one second. Tony. Already? Thank you. Hello. Well, what happened was, I think that this sleeve that you already know about. So I brought it over here to Professor Grumpy. We went out searching trying to find a bunch of stuff and finally ended up finding this pipe. After we found something else that we were going to use then the pipe appeared which is kind of the way things usually go. So anyway the ID is what we're concerned about so the pipe's got the best ID. It'll be a little bit smaller diameter on the outside but that's okay. Can I do it now? You are the master. Did I say anything? Hey guys. Can I you... breathe wrong in your direction? In case you get to see this video, this guy here is full of BS. I don't know where he found it. Okay, now we're going to make the rock hard square. Don't look at me! Not square. 
That old round square thing again. That's right. Calipers? Ah. Who needs calipers? I don't know. As long as we get it within a quarter mile, that's all we need. Worked on the last thing. That's right. Okay. You wouldn't believe me. All right, we're going to make the round part square again. Don't forget to hold your mouth just right. Okay, two, two and a quarter. And a twenty five, thirty thousand. Let's go twenty five. Tell them. Why? Because that's where the action is. Uh, tell them to come back when there's real action. <laughs> that's true. Find your way. I got a big hammer to you, dude. I'll have to try it. I have no problem using it. You went too far. 393. No way. Look, here you go. Just in case you don't know, you don't know how to read the dial that way. Unless I give you a mirror. Just basically. You want a mirror? I got 387. Yeah. Just six. It is three ninety eight. Ooh, ooh. Want to make a new one? Huh? Want to make a new one? Another one? Yeah. All right. You want to make another one? I don't care. Okay. I'll sell them. You think you can do the next one as good as this one? Oh, go whack another one. I goofed. Probably couldn't hear you. You goofed? Yeah. What'd you goof on? It's too big. Oh, so you gotta make another one? Make another one. I use a smaller hammer this time. Maybe I can knock some sense in you this time. Because you're going 485? Uh huh. Or uh, 1385? We'll try that one. How's that? Well, somewhere along the line, I got a measurement on that of, of uh, one. 400. With the other stuff that I have, uh -huh. I had a measurement of 1400 on the speedo drive here. And that, I think, was 1390, right? So you're at 398? Well, so you might be in spec. The bushing that you gave me measures 387. 1.387. Yeah. So I don't know where you get your measurements. Off of a di another one that I had. Okay, so then I don't really think it's that critical. No, it's a spacer. Correct. I agree. But what I'm saying is, if this is five thousand too small, you're not going to get it over the shaft. Why would you make another one? If that is for a change, I'm trying to be a nice guy. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, let's make another one. <laughs> Hey, you know that don't happen often. Well, not with a lot of people. Are you gonna cut me a bush? Oh, no, I should tell you what. It. it ain't gonna happen by it all by itself, you know. Now he wants me to cut another one. Give me that. Also, how many would you sell? Oh, one every ten years? Maybe none. So then why even mention it? Look at that. Huh? Perfect. Huh? Perfect. Do it! A likely excuse. What do we have like? What three eighty five? What do you think? What's that one? That's one three eighty five, isn't it? Yep. I don't. I don't want to have to press it onto the shaft. That's for sure. Uh, I'll take two more. Okay. Dos más. Dos más. Okay, the ball out there, I don't haul chickens anywhere. You can hold on to this twig. Hold on, chicken. That's all I know. You're not going to check it? Yes, father. One. 386. That'll do. That'll do, pig. <laughs> you didn't want to press it on, so I took an extra one. Yeah. Look at that. Perfectly perfect. So if you need an output shaft collar for a Spicer 23, I got a couple. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> She's rusted too far away, Captain. She won't hold her torque. This should work better. She's drawing down now, Captain. Oh, now this one's doing the same thing. Oh, that's just beautiful. That's just lovely. Well, let's get the front one in. I didn't hit record on either camera. Let's try this again, shall we? So, our drive shaft that's too long for everything else. It fits, it fits. Get it between the nubs. I know it'll go, I know it will. Like well, it! Losing daylight. Put the camera on low lux mode so it can all be nice and grainy. Oh, not again. Oh, that stupid zerk. Gosh, I hate when I do this. Nope, gotta pull it all the way out. Oh, 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 oh. Try this again, shall we? Now you have to put the U boy, U boy, U bolt around the cap. 
into the yolk. Slide your slip yolk. Get it in between the nubs. Oh, don't you fall out of there. Oh, don't you fall out of there. I'm going to throw a U-bolt on the back side. See if I can keep this from falling out of here. While I knock all my hardware on the floor. That's all I need. Could it just be the nuts themselves? Instead of the U-bolts? That'll keep that from falling out. And now for the test. Keep feeling for the end of the U-bolt coming through the nut. I want to draw them down even. Click, 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 and click. Front! Well, the angle. I need to get this in neutral transfer case. Well, it's noticeable that this bolt has been, that nut is no good, this bolt has been stretched. That nut's no good. I might just have to replace the nuts and not the entire U-bolts. I'll find out later in an upcoming episode. Maybe. Maybe not. We're about to find out. Now, I will engage the transfer case again. No, it's not going to tighten up. That's the last nut I got, too. Wait, I got this one. Well, that one's stripped. Okay. So then, what's left to do is to get the bracket put on here for the shift lever, and then we'll hook up the shift linkage and make sure everything works there. Drive shafts are in, transfer cases in. And uh, I gotta turn off the camera now because I'm losing daylight. And I gotta get everything ready to turn the camera back on again. But for you, it's in three, two. Hey, what's this? Pretty close. Take the threads out of it, obviously, but it's pretty thick. Yeah. I gotta go find it. He's out back by the, I think by the trailer or in the carport. Yeah, I just heard the door. Somewhere up there. Camera's rolling, by the way. Okay. Tool. Most of them are all tools that I use on a pretty so? regular, regular basis. I like that ball. 
boy charged him a good bit of money for that, I think. Yeah. Or he sent it to you to put together. They didn't clean it up before they even chromed it, though. It's not even been blasted. Really? Really? Yeah, it's all corroded out inside. I would have rebuilt it before I could make it. <laughs> Y'all do what you want to do. Probably can't hear you over the machine. Probably can't hear you over the machine. Here, I know you want to. Why? What, what do I want to do? You want to show them and tell them how good it is. I already showed them how good it is. You did? You're not going to grind it first? She's drawing down now, Captain. She's drawing down now, Captain. Stay here. Oh boy, I need four more friends like him. <laughs>